What's going on guys? Back at it again with another Fallout 76 video. So, brace yourselves because I do have somewhat of a long intro. And by long, I mean only maybe a couple of minutes long because I do have a lot to say uh, really fast. First things first, I am planning to start a brand new game, a new character just for this series again. Uh, mainly because... Wastelanders, I played a couple of hours with my main character, and this game is pretty drastically different in the best possible way. And I don't want to get too far in, you know, the game without, you know, uh, essentially just starting a series here on the channel. But it's so different with this DLC that I kind of feel like it warrants a new character that, like, I have to start over on top of that, I am playing now on Steam instead of the, the Bethesda launcher, and I do want to get all the achievements, which I don't have any achievements now, of course, even though I did uh, quests and missions and storylines that would warrant um, achievements. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have them, so in order to get them, I would have to start the game over. So that's another reason why I wanted to create a new character. Another reason is that I kind of want to switch my build just for the hell of it. I mean, there was nothing wrong with my old build or anything. It's just uh, I figured if I'm going to start a new game or whatever, I might as well, you know. Also, um, yeah, this game, what what little I played with it is absolutely fantastic, man. Like the, the Wastelanders DLC, it's freaking awesome. So, because of Wastelanders and because I'm doing this whole new uh, series uh, from starting over, I'm basically starting over from, from scratch. I will be doing all the missions and stuff, but I will be doing them all and trying to rediscover everything because it's so, uh, like I said before, it's so drastically different that I it, it warrants me to be thorough again. Um, so, expect that I'm going to be going through everything and playing it as a normal person would play 76 or fallout games in general from the beginning so brace yourself for that we're definitely going to be getting into that do me a huge favor if you're excited for this series uh drop a like on this video also subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed because i do plan to make this a very long term series so with that being said let's start a new game itself is under threat of annihilation. That is why today, July 4th, 2076, 300 years after our great nation began, we gather together to honor the completion of Vault 76. This sprawling underground shelter may have been engineered by Vault Tech, but it was built by you, the good people of America. So that if the bombs do come, if the end does come, our way of life will endure. But not everyone will be saved. Those chosen to enter this vault must be our best and our brightest. For when the fighting has stopped and the fallout has settled, you must rebuild. Not just walls, not just buildings, but hearts minds, and ultimately, America itself. So as we stand here today, we pray that the world will know peace. But if that is not our destiny, if war must come, we stand together knowing 
But here in Vault 76, our future begins. Rise and shine. This is the overseer. Man, it feels like forever since I started a new game. That'll be me. Alright, so I think she's done talking. The only thing I'm doing here is I'm basically just recreating my Fallout 4 character that I did for for that. So, I mean, I still look pretty much the same. You know, that's probably the closest that I've ever had a character. But, obviously, since the graphics and everything or the engine is a little updated in here, it does look... Um, a little different, but it's all good, man. So let's go ahead with jet black because my hair is pretty dark. All right. I mean, that's pretty much going to do it, man. There's nothing spectacular. Plus, I could always edit my character at a later time anyway. So this is going to be my character. Oh, wait. I'm not even done yet. Um, body. Forgot this guy has to be buff. And we'll call it a day. Uh, we'll call him, oh yeah, gamer, all right, so, um, for the record, I am playing on PC, uh, but I am playing with an Xbox One controller, if you haven't noticed, all right, that works for me, let's go ahead, we're probably just gonna rush through this whole intro portion nuka tapper that's just uh a what's it called a video game so happy the happy recreate uh, reclamation day today is the day everyone reclamation day we've been preparing for this for a moment for 25 years we're ready you're ready america is waiting for us so let's get out there the overseer you're invited countdown to reclamation day who everyone when 10 p.m. to midnight. We've opened the remaining liquor rations and the official vault party hats. The overseer will, will give a speech at 10 minutes to midnight and will lead the con uh, countdown. Have fun, everyone. All right. That does it for that. It kind of sucks that you can't pick up that magazine. I mean, we already have the Nuka Tapper hollow disc or hollow tape. So I guess it doesn't really matter. There's nothing else to loot around here. So let's go ahead and pick up our pride and joy. I'm kind of curious to see if there's anything different in the vault itself. Like a human NPC or anything. Realistically, probably not. But you never know. Alright, looks like we spawned on the...
All right, let's go ahead and read this. Dear Lisa, dear Lisa, dearest Lisa, do you know what my? Uh, do you know that my heart skips a beat every time you enter? Your sweet voice rings, milk and three sugars, please, in my dreams. I long to kiss you. I want. You only know me as one, the one who makes muffins, uh, delivers drinks, but I am so much more. I've seen the Congo. I visited the indigenous tribes in the South Pacific. Uh, too boastful. Uh, I want to be with you. I want to protect you. I want. And I want you to be less creepy. Alright, doesn't look like there's anything new to discover in the vault. So, let's go ahead and go. I've actually never read that note that was up there, to be honest. At least I don't think so. Not that I remember. What's up, guys? Alright, let's pick some of this up. Yes, we know that. Thanks for enlightening us. Stimpak, uh, right away. My building supplies. Um, I want my hat. Damn it! There we go. Let's go ahead and throw that on, actually. Since he's a new character, he's got to look spiffy. In the wasteland. People need to know that I'm the shit. Nothing says I'm the shit better than my party hat. Overseer's thing. Okay, vault tech report. Uh, 25. Uh, 25 years after the vault closed, you are to prepare your citizens to leave Vault 76 and begin a process called reclamation. Uh, specify... Uh, specifics will be... Uh, Disminuted? Sure, why not? Automatically as that time approaches. After Reclamation Day, you are personally ordered to find and rescue three nuclear silos codenamed Alpha, Bravo, and Charlie. If these sites are still nuclear capable, ensure no one except vault can access or launch nuclear ordnance. To be clear, even if there are, are other authorities, whether government, militia, or otherwise, their claims are to be ignored. vault alone maintains jur uh, jurisdiction. A little uh, extreme and sadistic, if you ask me. vault 76 parameters. Vault 76 is one of the most important projects that vault has completed. No expense has been uh, spared on building, staffing, and selecting the inhabitants of your vault. The cream of the crop of America have been chosen, uh, chosen including luminaries uh, from vault -Tec University. The special classes and instructions uh, you've received about managing a vault do not apply to this assignment. Uh, vault 76 is special. Your mission is to see uh, to the livelihood and well-being of all your residents and make sure they're ready to colonize America all uh, America once the all clear is received uh, it is to be expected that you will face challenges we haven't prepared for adapt learn thrive uh, and thrive America is counting on you operation procedures day-to-day uh, -day duties your job as overseer is to see the overall health and safety of Vault 76. Avoid loss of life at all costs. The Vault residents have been carefully chosen for their unique skills and temperament. Due to the aptitude of Vault residents, you may be pre presented with unique challenges and maintaining order as a last resort. Each domicile can be locked down and the residents imper imprisoned for any duration you deem appropriate. Enforced solitary confi uh, confinement can lead to psychological issues, so factor that in. Although the vault door cannot be opened from the inside, keep the entry clear of all unauthorized personnel. The security team will stow all weapons and munitions after the amended entry period and will be armed solely with non-lethal devices. Well, 
all right. If America is to be uh, rebuilt, every life in this vault is special. Preserve them all. Mandatory, uh, mandatory shutdown. Our studies have shown after a relatively short duration of living uh, with the amenities of vault tech that, that test subjects can grow to depend on them that will not do for Vault 76. After the all clear message is received, Vault 76 will shut down all functions inside of 24 hours. Air circulation will cease uh, last and you could warn the vault residents that staying inside the vault can be lethal after this period. Everyone must leave the nest. It's imperative that all residents are focused on the important job of rebuilding America. So they're very serious about this. Uh, archived files. Reclamation Day has arrived. We counted down to midnight. I haven't seen anyone cheer like that since Vault uh, Baby Number One uh, was born. I called lights out a couple hours ago, had to get security to help a few people uh, to their beds. Then the volunteers and I got all the sta uh, standees set up just like we practiced. Need to make the final recordings and then it'll be time to head out that door. I wish I could be there to help everyone on their way, but I know they'll make me proud. Survival first. As instructed, we set up the survival packages I've advised everyone to run fast and far from uh, from 76 as soon as the door is open. We have no information about what awaits us, vault says. We're America's best hope. Now we'll find out. All right, annual review 2100. All right. Uh, at current count, six residents are under disciplinary lockdown. That's up from four last year. The morale officer has managed to quash the worst rumors about Appalachia. Cannibal mutants, burning rain, whatever, uh, but tensions are high. It's generally pretty easy to maintain order. The, pre, uh, the, pe the pedigree of most of the residents is impressive to say the least, but competence sometimes means arrogance. Uh, and arrogance means my authority gets tested more often than it should. Hydroponics has been struggling to keep up with demand. I've uh, been loath to institute mandatory rationing, uh, rationing, but in 2101, that may be necessary. 76 is full of bursting, is full to bursting with people, more than we anticipated. Top successes. The award ceremonies are a great way of stroking the uh, hardened ego since everyone's so damned competitive. Uh, the low point was someone losing a tooth in a fight over the best dental hygiene <laughs> award. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, the senior staff has been exemplary as always. Very dependable and loyal. It's been a struggle to keep our overachievements play up. Uh, Plaque did? Sure. Uh, but another year down and we're still here. The Vault 76 World Cup has proven to be a huge hit. The ball damn near broke the jukebox, but the energy in the atrium was amazing. Deleted files. Well, I mean, if they're deleted. All right. Uh, let's eject holotape. All right, let's go ahead and play said hollow tape. Uh, oh wait, I passed it. Overseer's log, or should I say, direct communication? Because whoever is listening to this had the moxie to try to find out where I've gone. But I'm glad you did. Truth is, I need your help. I've been given a task, and I've decided to break protocol. Because if there's one thing I've learned in these past few years, it's that we need to rely on each other. There were three active nuclear silos in Appalachia before the bombs fell. They blew up the world before. We can't let it 
happen again. So we've got to locate and secure all of the silos. Or die trying. Hopefully the former. But it's been 25 years. I just don't know what we're gonna find out there. Or where to start. My directive was to go to the nearest population center and assess the situation. I'll set up a camp on the way once I get my bearings. Find me there. Sounds good. So first things first, let's go ahead and read this final notice. If anyone is found accessing this terminal and is not a member of the personal department, personnel department, you will be immediately reported to the security chief. No exceptions. Correspondence. Uh, missing Nuka Cherry. Just because we're leaving doesn't mean any of you have the right to steal my stash of Nuka Cherry. Nuka Cola Cherry. I have uh, been rationing those bottles for over 20 years. If I catch any of you, so help me God, there will be consequences. About my reassignment. I realize that it may seem trivial in light of present circumstances, but I would greatly appreciate my reassignment being processed before Reclamation Day. I have worked many years to pass all written, verbal, and physical tests to become a sanitation engineer. Um, okay. <laughs> um, I have a doctorate of engineering from GSU, and I... Um, and I don't want to end my tenure at our Vault 76 as a soda jerk. Please, let me have the accolades I have earned. Thanks in advance. Purge all records. vault -Tex reclamation procedure is very clear. All records must be purged before our day. Uh, to be clear, after reclamation uh, day, there will be no personal department. There will be no Vault 76. Any of the projects you're in the middle of are done. If you, for some reason, can't find the time to erase your files, I'll send someone over to do it for you. You can bring it up to the overseer if you'd like. Dun, dun, dun. Personal file. Personnel files. I keep saying personal. A to F. Files deleted. G to O. Files deleted. P to Z. Files deleted. Unsaved work. Um, uh, looks like these are just their jobs. All right, cool. Let's go. I wonder why they want us to delete all our all of our stuff. Sure, why not? Here you go. All right, let's go ahead and level up. Whatever decides to work. I wonder if there's any new perk cards, all right? Gladiator, no. Concentrated fire, maybe. Uh, lead belly, no. Inspirational, no, I plan to go lone wanderer. Uh, stim packs, agility's definite possibility. Actually, you know what? I will go with agility. Action boy. And let's stick that right there. And let's go ahead and hop on out of here. Actually, you know what? There's still one more set of terminals that I want to read. You. I'll have to hack this. Alright. Let the guessing game begin. Because I don't... <laughs> I don't actually... I'm not good at this. And I don't like hacking. I... What the hell, dude? Alright. Yeah, I'm not very good at this... Uh, hacking thing and I don't care to learn it I really don't like this hacking game so I just guess until I get it right Vault 76 security instructions uh, Vault 76 is one of the most highly valuable and important vaults in our network as such these orders must be obeyed at all costs the future of America is at stake upon receiving the activation notice your team is authorized to use lethal force any obstacle or threat that stands between you and getting the vault residents safely inside the vault must be dealt with decisively. Only authorized re residents are allowed inside. All other personnel should be considered enemy combatants. The overseer has special instruction after the activation notice. As soon as, as, soon as the entry procedures are complete, your team must, uh, must stow all weapons in the specified container 
Further orders will then be dispensed. Trust your overseer. Obey your overseer. That's okay. Uh, uh, know that each and every member of your team was selected specifically for this assignment because of Voltex faith in you. If you work together, you will succeed. Our right, incident reports drunk and disorderly. Uh, Jill caught M. Thompson uh, signing, uh, singing loudly during the night cycle. Uh, he got into the reclamation party stores and borrowed a six pack. <laughs> the rules say that theft mandates lockdown, but what's the point? In two days, everyone's out uh, anyhow. Threw Thompson in the uh, holding cell to sleep it off. I wonder if he's still there. Oh, well, he said sleep it off, so chances are he was already out. Assault investigated. Uh, Naku, Nakam, Nakamura investigated a complaint filed by our old friend Jake. Jake claimed that E. Jefferson saw uh, shoved him with intent to commit bloody injury. Nakamura found a witness and Jake was great, uh, gently shoved out of the way after he was lying uh, into Jefferson about being an infe infectual ass. Asked the chief whether uh, we could nail Jake for filing a false report. Chief said that Jake technically was assaulted though, so it's dropped. Gotta hate lawyers. Unauthorized access investigation. Terminal 023-B was hacked last night. Uh, Sandy investigated and we've got no idea who did it. The reclamation files were accessed, however, which has uh, the chief furious. Uh, what does he expect? Half the resis are goddamn geniuses. How are we supposed to keep... Uh, them out of restricted files doubled down or doubled up the shifts uh, So we have more eyes out there like that'll help Theft investigated Another claim from Jake again sent Nakamura over uh, She's the only one that doesn't want to struggle with str uh, Strangle the guy Jake claims uh, he's missing one box of sugar bombs from his room. He, uh, he's damning, he's demanding we investigate it. One box of sugar bombs told Nakamura to drop the investigation. With reclamation coming, we have far more important things to do. Alrighty. Security logs. <clears throat> Excuse me. Final entry. 25 years of service, no KIAs, and one hell of a send-off. I made one last plea to arm the resis before we open. Denied. Uh, my solemn hope is generations from now visitors will come to 76 and read this and know how dedicated their forefathers were. How we regrew America from the ashes. But I must admit, I'm afraid as well. If some of the experiments in the other vaults go wrong, it can give you nightmares. And that's only the things I know about. If we can only stick together, work together, I think we stand a chance. Keep a lid on it. All right. Had to lock down Casey for babbling about the activation notice. The cat's already out of the bag, but orders are orders. Procedure is we announce tomorrow, but you can feel the excitement. The team keeps asking uh, what to expect out there. The nukes uh, knocked out our external sensors, so we're blind. Only the secondary Geiger counters are operational. Scuttlebutt gone wild. Lots of whispering of who's grouping up with who after the reclamation. I worry that the biggest threat of uh, to the project isn't any threat we'll face out there. It's from within. The resis are a formidable lot, but we give them free reign and Lord help us. Rundown complete. Team tore through the activation notice checklist. Logs wiped, non-essential gear rescue or uh, secured, reclamation packages acquired, etc. The whole procedure went down in record time like we've 
been practicing for years. Some grumbling uh, about unleashing the res uh, resis without the overseer keeping them in check, but overall a good performance. All right, and it looks like we're done. Time to leave the vault. Oh God. Goodbye, aloha, ciao, arrivederci, au revoir, auf Wiedersehen, via con Dios, buen viaje. See you later, Alderton. Oh look, it's my main character's camp. <laughs> I just recently took down all of those um, trees. The building and the structure is still the same. And I was happy to, to know that it's still there uh, with the Wastelanders DLC. But yeah, that's my, that's my main character's camp. I made it into a tiny little fortified castle. <laughs> I like it. So looks like we still have... Decently sized loading screens for when we go into Appalachia. Oh, but actually it feels faster. Look at that, our first achievement. Reclamation Day. Whoop, whoop. All right, so first things first, let's go ahead and come over here. Got to get some of this stuff. Um, We'll take that. I know the... Uh, The first part of the storyline. I thought I took this already. Oh, sir. Those young ladies down there. They seem exceedingly alive. Yay. Can't they wait. They haven't yet made any untoward advances. But perhaps you could speak to them? Verify their intentions are civil? Uh, any idea, any idea who those two... Any idea what those two are doing up here? Only that they appear to have some vested interest in accessing the vault. One seemed quite perturbed when I told them that wouldn't be happening. But I'm not sure if she believed me. Alright, you sound like you think they're up to something. I've been keeping watch here long enough to have learned that outside the vault, people don't always have one's best intentions at heart. I'm sorry to say it, but it's the truth. I mean, you're not wrong. Uh, what's been going on out here? Until quite recently, it's been exceedingly peaceful. I maintained my post, greeted latecomers out of the vault, and otherwise reveled in Appalachia's natural splendor. But very recently, it seems people have come back to Appalachia. Those two and more to boot. The non vault sort, you understand. It's all very concerning. Who knows what they might be up to? Uh, have you seen the Overseer? Well, yes, but it's been some time. But she was a resourceful woman. I, I'm, I'm sure she's all right. All right, I ought to be on my way. Oh, do be careful out there, sir. Oh, I'll be fine, Pennington. Thanks for your concern, by the way. To be a way in there. Maybe... Wait, a vault dweller? H hey there! Hi. Uh, just so you guys know, I don't know if you guys noticed, but I hid the history only because it's a little bit more immersive that way. So the quest is Wayward Souls. Speak to Lacey. Whoa, whoa. Just a friend here, not a threat. Just had some questions for you. You came out of the vault, right? I thought it was empty. Wait, is the door still open? Uh, the door's sealed tight. It, uh, no one's getting in. God damn it. <sighs> we got a tip from the Wayward. Heard of the place? Nope. New bar down the road. So this guy told us that... After you gave him the last of our caps... And he said that inside that vault is the, you know, that's where the big one is. Our last chance to turn our lousy luck around. The big one, you say? What are you talking about? You know, the thing that brought everyone back. The treasure. 
Um, there's a treasure out there? Well, yeah. There was this big broadcast, but shouldn't you know what was in there? I just got out of the vault. The guy was scamming us. But those were the last of our caps. No. <laughs> Someone has to know something. We're just going to stick it out until we find them. Wonderful. Thanks for answering some questions for us, I suppose. No problem, Lacey. Seems only fair I return the favor. Anything we can answer for you? Oh, I thought she was going to give me money. Uh... You wouldn't have a spare weapon, would you? I hope she gives me a laser rifle. They sent you out here without a weapon? Unfortunately. A quick trip trying to do this unarmed. Here. A machete? You gave me a freaking mach... Man. Oh, uh, what else can you tell me about this treasure? Happy to tell you what I know, which isn't much. Someone made a broadcast not too long back about there being some kind of treasure buried in Appalachia. We don't know what... We don't know where. But with people as desperate as they are, it's meant everyone with a functioning radio has come back to try and see if they can get a piece of it. Monsters or no? Guy we met at the Wayward. Carter, I think was his name. He gave us a couple of leads to chase down. In exchange for all our money. Up to us now to make something out of them. Uh, so can you tell me anything about the area? About Appalachia? Other than it's a graveyard? Where is that? We haven't been here real long, but from what we've been able to piece together, the area got hit pretty hard. Not long after, well, these things showed up. The Scorched. The Merciless. They seem to have cleaned up whoever the bombs might have missed. Without people around, everything else has gone haywire. The voice acting is pretty good, man. Uh, what's the, what's the world like out there? We both came over from Virginia. Well, what was Virginia? There's a lot more hot zones that way. When the few spots that are livable, well, they got picked clean fast. I mean, Appalachia's dangerous, really dangerous. It's better than where we've been. Well, I will, hot spots, I'm assuming, is radiation locations? I'm not sure. Uh, did you see uh, another vault dweller go by, an overseer? Hmm. If your overseer crossed our path, she sure wasn't broadcasting it. Sorry. You might ask at the wayward. Seems like they set themselves up to be a natural stopping point. Yeah, I think that was their point. So, I better be going. It was nice meeting you two. Watch yourself out there. Woo! That was amazing, guys. I, I'm so happy. It sounds so stupid and tiny, but... I'm very, 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 very happy that we finally have human NPCs. Like, I love this game without the human NPCs. Now that human NPCs are here, this is this is only going to get better, man. I freaking love it, and I'm so happy. All right. So, at any point, we can literally um, meet a human NPC or whatever because... There, uh, how should I put this? Like, there is a ton of them that just wander around Appalachia, dude. So, I mean, I could be walking and then just randomly see a dude right here just walking around. So, it could be pretty interesting. Looks like we got some bees over there. This place is pretty cool. I remember when the game first, first came out. Uh, this was a very popular spot for camps. Alright, let's see here. Alright, well, we have to go that way, but I kind of want to check this place out to see. No, it looks like they're still scorched. Well, let's kill them anyways for the XP. Got him. Did no damage to him though. And I only have six rounds. So I need to be careful. Hey. I was about to say you're going to die. Well now I got to change my weapon. 
three rounds? Fuck. Alright, well, I mean, I got some more rounds right here. And I'll take that for the mods. Uh, Piper Evolver, I'm gonna need that. Message to Sammy. Responders don't know shit. Every night, there's some more of them in the sky. Brotherhood warned them, warned us all. Defiance has fallen, they said. What the hell's that mean? Supplies running low. May try to get to Abbey way over the mountain. Free states have got to know more. Sammy, you read this, get to Abbey. Straight east of the Red Rocket Megastop. She knows the Brotherhood of Steel more than anyone. May angels look after you because sure as shit, nothing else will. So it looks like we got the location to Abby's bunker. Um, Alright, let's go ahead and run around and kill the rest of these guys. Alright, let's check up here first. I know there's a couple that like to hang out up here. I'm not really worried about uh about really I mean anything about junk though I meant to say junk uh, right now I will motherfucker this gun is pretty strong for now you know what I mean thank you look at all these freaking weapons I'm getting so I originally thought of um, basically doing a clone of my main character but and although i'm gonna do something similar um i'm gonna end up doing because he's a sniper but the thing with snipers is that rifleman and commando are interchangeable so i'm basically going to do a commando build uh that way i have similar perks but it, it's gonna feel a hell of a lot different so it should be pretty interesting to say the least All right, let's go see um, the overseer's camp. Hopefully, there's something interesting there waiting for us. Wait, that looks different already. Visit the wayward. Wait, um, data. So we we don't have the overseer's journey or whatever it's called anymore, huh? pretty interesting so just so you guys know we're gonna prioritize the main game storyline only because everyone playing wastelanders right now is doing the the whole way uh like the wayward and all that stuff and what the fuck this guy's paint's falling apart bessie oh my god it's a fucking cat oh my god <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that's hilarious, dude. It's a freaking cow. Bessie. I thought it was paint falling off. It might be, but it's definitely a freaking cow, dude. Uh, Workbench is this way. Oh, that's the Overseer's Camp. Um, Yeah, I'm going to prioritize the main mission. So, the Wayward. Sorry, but you're going to have to wait. Yeah, everyone and their mom is doing that, so if you want to watch that side of the story, definitely do that. I'm kind of more interested in... I'm kind of more interested in, um... Seeing what changed in the main main storyline, you know? If anything. Um, so learn. Alright. Oh, you scared me, dude. Alright, let's go ahead and... Uh, well, first things first is scrap all junk. Uh, we'll scrap the machete, man. I don't want that. Pipe bolt action, pipe bolt action, pipe bolt action. Uh, I'll do it all. Only because I already have decent amount of rounds for this gun. Alright, so craft a weapon. That'll be over here. So, we'll just do throwing knives. Alright, and I got another achievement. Uh, for this, actually, I think I'm just going to craft an outfit. 
And yes, I've been playing forever, and I do buy pretty much everything that's in the Adam shop. I kind of want to wear the veteran outfit, if that's what it's called. Let's see here. Um... Ball Boy Leprechaun, no. Wasteland Trapper. Where? It's not here. Weren't they supposed to give us uh, an outfit? I want that outfit. It looks fucking awesome, dude. So, um, let's go ahead then. Let's go ahead and choose something else then. I want something normal looking, man. Like, something that everybody would probably be wearing. Well, that people would normally be wearing. Hmm. Let's go ahead and go with. All right, let's go with Maxon's battle coat. That doesn't count as armor, does it? Oh, it does. And headwear. What would look good for headwear with Maxon's battle coat? I mean, I guess the cowboy hat. Fuck it, let's just go with that. Um, all right, cowboy hat, elder battle coat. We'll go with the black rim. There we go. I mean, he looks he looks pretty decent. All right, well, let's go and place your own camp. I do want to place my own camp, but first things first. I'm trying to debate. Should I go to the Wayward? Or should I go towards uh, Flatwoods? We're going to leave it right here though. In the next video, I'm going to be making that decision. So first things first, let me know down in the comments down below which route I should do. I'm leaning towards going to Flatwoods and avoiding the Wayward right now. Uh, because I feel like everyone who makes video content is going to go prioritize the new DLC content, which is fine and understandable, but I kind of want to see what it's like to live or to, 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 to do the main storyline as a level one, you know what I mean? So I kind of want to go in that direction, but I'm fine with either way. If you guys want to see the wayward, let me know down in the comments. If you guys want to see me go do the main storyline, because I know Bethesda had said that. Uh, they have added new things, dialogue choices, and even in some cases, people in some of these storylines. So, I'm curious to find out what we're going to experience as a new level character. So, should be pretty interesting. Uh, but, as for now, definitely do me a huge favor. Drop a like on this video. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. Because I really, really, it really does help this channel grow. So, with that being said, catch you guys in the next video. Deuces. Thank you.